Aloha and welcome back to Cranking Out Crafts. My name's Jay Flo and today I'm really excited to show you some new stamps that we got in from one of our favorite vendors, local vendors called Rubber Stamp Plantation. And these are just a few. I really, really like them because they, um, I feel are very Moana inspired. And if you are having a party with that theme, these are perfect for the occasion and you can do some great invitations, party favors, tags, all sorts of things. So we'll get started here and I'll show you how to first make a simple little tag. Okay, so we're gonna use Versamark Watermark Stamp Pad and it's a clear stamp, but it's sticky so the powder will stick to it. I'm gonna push it down and while it's still wet we want to and it stays tacky for a little bit we're going to put our embossing powder right over there Sess. pour the excess back in my little jar and I like to give it a little thump thump to get all the remaining dust off of it. And then we're going to use our heat tool, heat it up, and you'll see how beautifully it reacts. Okay, so turning on the heat tool. And it just kind of melts those little particles. to create a nice shiny little surface. Okay, so we've got our cute shiny pineapple. I'm gonna cut it out. And I'm just using scissors. Um, you could use a punch, but I think that this pineapple is very natural looking and it doesn't have to be perfect. It has a lot of character. So then we will take another stamp pad. I'm actually going to just kind of distress the edge. Just kind of roll it. Okay, so now that that is finished, I'm going to take pop dots and we're going to make this a little dimensional. And on the back here, I will put some pop dots. Now, you also have all of this that you can use. You don't have to use just the circles. It's a little tricky. But don't waste that part. That's good stuff back there. Oh, and I've also got some raffia. I'm just gonna do like a little bow on the back. Just to add some zhuzh to it, voila. So it lifts the pineapple up a little bit and then it also gives room for the raffia to be on the back. So that's, that's a cool technique one. Okay, so we're actually gonna do pink this time. Makes great wrapping paper. If you just had a plain background of wrapping paper. So then I offset it like bricks. I'm gonna put a scrap piece right underneath it so I can just continue. I don't have to worry about getting my table dirty. It goes right off the page. Ta-da! This even makes a really cool background for a card. That's what I'm gonna use it for. Okay. Oh, and I wanted to show this. This is a scrubber pad. So it has these little scrubbies on it and it's great. You just take your stamp, go like this, 
and it removes the ink. Awesome, great little tool, great to have. Okay, so that ink should be just about dry. I'm going to fold, this was actually a card. I'm just gonna fold it, gonna face it down. Ta-da! A cute little card that you've created. You know what else? I'm gonna put that cute little guy right in the corner. He's a little popped up. So there you have it. Great ways to use our new stamps from Rubber Stamp Plantation.